Moving on to more news this evening. Now, giving evidence before the Presidential Commission of Inquiry on irregularities at Sri Lankan Airlines, Sri Lankan Catering and Mihin Lanka today, Director of the Department of Public Enterprise, Sir Champa Balasurya, revealed that the first Board of Directors for Mihin Lanka was appointed prior to Cabinet approval upon instructions given by former Secretary to the President, Lalit Viratunga. The first board of directors at Mehin Lanka was appointed on the 15th of December 2006, one week prior to receiving cabinet approval for the establishment of a state-owned airline upon instructions given by former secretary to the president, Lalit Viratunga, who was not empowered to make such an authoritative decision. As per section 78 of the former airline's articles of association, the power to appoint members to the board was vested in the Minister of Ports and Aviation. Abusing power and making decisions beyond the scope of authority, Lalit Viratunga had instructed the appointment of Gotabaya Rajapaksha as chairman, Sajin Vaz Gunavardhana as CEO, Roshan Gunatilaka, Surendra Edirivira, Chandana Liana Patabendi, Samantha Samaratunga and former presidential secretariat himself, Lalit Viratunga as directors. However, it was brought to the attention that in 2008, Mihin Lanka's Articles of Association was amended and power vested in the Minister of Ports and Aviation to appoint board members was transferred to the Secretary to the Treasury, then Dr. P. B. Jai Sundara. It was questioned during the Commission as to how such powers were vested in the Treasury when such decisions should be implemented under the purview of a Ministry of Aviation. 